So let's talk about renaming models and drawings from Excel. So I have this assembly up here, and if we take a look at the directory, we we can see that we, every model that's in here has a drawing associated with it, and the, the names of the files are common between the two. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to export the bill of materials from the current assembly to uh, Excel using NitroBomb. And the all params report is where we actually have some of the special functionality. So if you take a look at the legend up here, we do have kind of an operation um, that can be ran. And those operations can actually be, um, you can actually modify the names of things from any column. So if you say rename, um, it's going to basically infer that any name that's currently here is going to be used uh, for renaming the models there. So we're going to just come up with a, a new uh, name. So we'll just call this, uh, Oh, let's give it a name like this, and then we'll uh, pass the, or paste that down using a double click, and then we'll just modify um, all of these models because we're going to be modifying every model here. Now in NitroBomb, there's actually um, a couple of options. By def by default, it's going to do in session only, but you can toggle that to uh, turn that off to rename the file in the directory. Also, now if you don't have any drawings associated with the model, um, that'll work for just fine. But if you do have drawings associated with a model and you're renaming it, uh, you're going to have problems loading up your drawings afterwards. So uh, in this case, we're just going to do a rename in session only for now, just to kind of show uh, how it works. And we're going to do an import. And you can see that the uh, model names have been adjusted and it's going to refresh the report. Um, these other reports that have been generated obviously have the old names. To update those, you just have to re-export your bill, bill materials report. And you'll notice that if we come back over to Creo, and open up that the original model names are still out there. So um, if we save this right now, it'll overwrite those, but it'll create a conflict with the drawings. So I'm gonna erase a uh, session on this, and we're going to open up uh, kind of our root assembly here that we've been working with. And I'm gonna re-export this again. Now, uh, we're basically just kind of restarting this process. But in this particular case, we're going to also um, rename associated uh, drawings uh, at the same time. So again, I'm just going to come in and say, well, I'm going to do a rename operation. Uh, we're going to be modifying every one of these, and we'll call this uh, JKB01, and then we'll map those down. Now when we do this, we're going to import the changes, and it's going to loop through every drawing and uh, do the rename. It's going to open up every drawing and then rename each model so that it updates the drawing correctly, then it's going to rename the drawing and then save these things back down. So when this is finished, uh, going through this import process, uh, we should get a new bill of materials back with all of the changes that have been made, and we'll be able to open up the directory and see that, in fact, all of the files have been adjusted also. So it has finished uh, the process, and as you can see, it has uh, given us a warning that says, hey, uh, the top level assembly has been saved due to this operation, and you can see that it's there. Uh, so if we quit window and say open model, you'll notice that all of the drawings and the models have been renamed. So if we open this uh, particular, any of these drawings up, uh, let's get a better drawing. Let me erase memory so that we can just kind of open up something fresh here. So there's that, and let's open up um, a drawing for it. And you can see that, in fact, it does come up correctly and is open properly. Um, to export this to the uh, latest uh, version of the reports, you just have to open up the uh, top level assembly and um, re-export the reports and you'll get all of the reports updated to the correct uh, names and values.